Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we'll be taking a look at some more Jurassic World action figures. We have Dinosaur Trainer Owen, Mercenary and Demorphodon, and Owen and Baby Blue. So the last figures that I took a look at were from the Jurassic World Legacy Collection, meaning all of those characters were from the first Jurassic Park movie, whereas these characters are actually from the Jurassic World movies. So I'm not necessarily sure if these are supposed to be from the first movie or the new movie that's coming out. Technically, I think they could work for either. Um, I mean, Owen and Baby Blue certainly could work for either. Mercenary seems fairly generic, so they might be from the most recent movie, or they technically could probably work for the original movie as well. Taking a look at the back here, you can see um, here is a picture of the other two figures, and then this one says, Coming Soon, and this appears to be Claire with a little Stegosaurus baby, which looks pretty awesome. So you can see these are made by Mattel as they now have the license for these. I found these at Target. Uh, they were $7.99 each. Uh, I went to Walmart today as well, but they did not have any of the figures. They had a bunch of dinosaurs, but they did not have any figures, which I thought was interesting. Could have just been there sold out already. People are kind of making a mad rush for these things. So I like these though. Packaging is very simple, but I think it works. Figures are about three and three quarter inch, so about the size of a G.I. Joe figure. Uh, but a little bit more articulation. So we're going to go ahead and get these guys out of the packaging, and we'll take a closer look. Okay, so here are the three figures out of the packaging. Um, I'll start over here with the uh, armored Owen figure. I think like they did a decent job with making it look like Chris Pratt. And just real quick, I'll bring in the other one. They're both pretty much the same head sculpt. I think this one's a little bit more successful. Um, but overall, I mean, for a figure this small, I feel like getting pretty close is, is pretty good. As far as likeness, uh, face sculpts go, it's hard to be that accurate on something this small. But same, uh, articulation as the previous figures with the ball joint in the head, a little bit of up and down, side to side. Shoulder goes out to the side as well as spin around. You have the 90 degrees in the elbow as well as a spin for that as well. The whole... Uh, forearm into the wrist is a solid piece, but you do have a waist swivel and then you have front for the leg and out to the side for the leg But he's got pretty major butt flaps, so you really can't go back at all And then for the knee joint you have the bend as well as the swivel But the knee cap does kind of extend farther down, so it looks a little weird if you turn it to the side <laughs> But overall not bad and then his uh, nothing in the ankle, that's a one solid piece as well. So I think it's a decent little figure. I think it looks decently like Chris Pratt. Uh, but he does come with this uh, dino trainer gear. So you have this kind of basic gray vest. Just one solid piece of plastic here. And you just kind of put this over his head. And it just slips on. And it stays in place fairly well, I have to say. I think they did a decent job. And then these pieces, these little gauntlets, just clip over his arms. And they look good. At first I thought they clipped over his knees, just because of how big they look. But they clip over the arms well, but the problem is they kind of impede the uh, elbow articulation just because of how big they are. You can still do it a little bit. But, but overall, I think that looks pretty good. He's definitely got this armor. And then he comes with this giant shield that says Jurassic World. And I guess he's just meant to hold this in his hand like this. Although the the big uh, shield pieces are pretty huge. And they don't fit into his hand super well. But So yeah, I, I feel like it's supposed to be like a riot shield. But I almost wish like it, you could put it on his arm like this almost. Or I guess you could have him hold on to this one and then have it on his arm like this. But see, like I said, the, the pieces for him to hold on to are very wide, thick bar pieces, and they just don't fit into the hands that well. So, I don't know. I think the shield is kind of a bust, unfortunately, but I think the armor looks pretty cool. So, I do like that. And even if you just want another Owen figure in a different shirt, uh, it's a decent Owen figure. And I like the armor, I just think the shield doesn't work that great. But putting that off to the side, we'll move on to the other Owen figure. This is kind of his more classic look with the shirt and the vest that he wears, at least in the first movie. 
all the same articulation as the other figure. And overall, I think it's a it's a good looking figure. He comes with this um, just kind of knapsack that you can kind of put over his arm and then get over his head here. It's a little difficult to do. But you can get it to go. There we go. So there he wears that on the side. And that works really well, I think. It looks good. It fits perfectly. It's not too loose. It doesn't look ridiculous. So I think that works out really well. The other thing he comes with that is really neat is this super tiny baby blue, which is, I think, ridiculously adorable. It is a really soft plastic, though. Like, really, really soft. Like, I almost want to put it in the freezer to harden it up. I don't know if that would help or not, because it's just, it seems really malleable and really flim, not flimsy, but like just super soft. But it is really cute, in my opinion. I think they did a great job with the design and the paint. It's a really cute, tiny baby raptor, so I like that a lot. And then the last figure we have, whoops, don't fall over, Ellen. It is a little difficult to get the raptor to stay, though, which I is a bit of a bummer. Just because of the way they have his legs, and because, like I said, his legs are so soft that he doesn't want to stay. So he kind of wants to just fall forward. I guess if I lean him up against his leg, maybe? That looks kind of neat. So moving on to the final figure. This guy is just deemed mercenary. He's just a very generic mercenary. It kind of just looks like a random G.I. Joe, like almost one of the ones you see... When you go to like the dollar store, like Toys R Us, and they have those like Army Corps sets, and it's just a generic soldier looking dude, that's uh, what this guy reminds me of. Now, unfortunately, I did get two right uh, bicep areas. So his arm is supposed to spin around and, and look like this, but they gave me the wrong forearm piece. So I can't like bend it around the other way. Like that's about as much as I could do. So he's just got, I mean, it's not a huge problem. The arm still works. It just, you know, instead of complete 90 degrees, maybe you get, you know, 70 degrees or something like that. So it looks a little weird, but I feel like it's not that ridiculous. He just has an elbow in the front. I don't know what else to do. Uh, otherwise, he's got all the same articulation as the other figures. He's got this soft plastic gun piece that can come unpegged. You can see that there's a peg there, and then there's a little peg hole on his thigh, and you just peg that in. I don't know why that's meant to come unpegged. I guess just in case you need him to do like a high kick or something, or put him in a car, and because this is attached to the belt in the waist piece, you know, maybe it would impede his leg movement, so they wanted to make it, you know, so you could unpeg it. So I appreciate that. Overall, I think it's, I mean, it's a good looking figure. Looks a little bit like Gren, Greg Gunberg. Greg Grun? Okay, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I can't say his name. Greg Grunberg. Does anyone know him? He pops up in things from time to time. He's on Heroes. He was the guy who could read minds. He's been in lots of stuff, but I don't know. He just looks like him to me. <laughs> so it's a decent figure. Um, it's just a bummer that I got the wrong forearm piece here, but I, 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 can, I can live with it. He comes with this, like, large stun staff, I guess, to stun the dinosaurs. And this fits into his hand fairly easily. And he can grip that fairly well. So there is the stun staff. So he's a cool-looking figure. Um, I mean, if you just want, like, to have a character to get eaten by dinosaurs, I feel like Mercenary is your man. <laughs> he also comes with this cool little dino. Uh, let me get the packaging back so I can get it right. Dimorphodon. I like this. I think this is really neat. This is a tiny, cute little dino. He's, his tail is pretty soft, and his wings are a little soft, but the rest of him is pretty decently solid. Um, he just looks neat. I love these crazy, like, little pterodactyl things that have, like, T-Rex heads. It's just a crazy dinosaur, in my opinion. So it is molded in one solid color. There's no paint apps or anything, but... I still think it's fun. This is kind of like what I remember back in the day uh, with the Kenner figures. They were a little bit larger figures, but they each came with like a little dinosaur like this. So it's fun to get back to that. Yes, they're smaller figures, but you get cool little dinos with them, which I really appreciate. So I think they're fun. 
I can't decide if I like these more than I like the classic figures from the first Jurassic Park movie. Probably because of nostalgia. I'll have to lean towards the legacy figures from the first JP movie, but these are pretty decent. I really like the Owen with the tiny baby blue. I think he's really cool. I just wish that baby blue was a little bit more solid and not such a soft plastic. But like I said, you might be able to pop it in the freezer for a little bit and harden it up. I don't know if it'll last, but it might. Uh, might be something I try. I really like this little guy, the Dimorphodon. I think he's a pretty cool little dino. Um, I could completely understand if you're going to pick one Owen or the other. You probably don't need to have both. I do like this figure. I think the figure looks good, and I think the armor works. I just think the shield is a little goofy. I would have rather had another little dino instead of the shield. That's just me personally, but you know maybe the shield will come in handy for something else down the road. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, I think these three figures are pretty good. I definitely think this is probably my favorite out of the three. This guy's probably my second favorite, and he's probably my third favorite. But, you know, they're all solid figures. They're all very nicely articulated, very nicely detailed. The paint apps and everything on them look good. Just make sure when you're buying your Mercenary, make sure you get the right left uh, bicep piece so you don't get two right biceps. Other than that, but I think that's just a minor factory defect. I don't think that's going to be for that the case for every one of the mercenary figures so just check for that in the package when you're picking one out otherwise three fun figures very nice $7.99 a piece at target like i said it's the only place i've seen them so far i don't know if they're i don't believe they're target exclusives um i think the walmart i was at just didn't have them out yet with toys r us closing i have no idea what kind of stuff if they're gonna get if any we'll have to wait and see but i definitely think these are three fun figures and i think the price is decent could be a little bit cheaper, but I think $7.99 isn't bad as far as these figures go. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like and share the video and please subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this look at Dino Trainer Owen, Owen with Baby Blue, and Mercenary with Dimorphodon. Did I get that right? Dimorphodon. I don't know. It's fun. It's Dimorphotime. <laughs> I'm being weird. In any case, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, thank you so much for watching.